there friends welcome back to conscious whole tarot it's francesca thank you so much for tuning in to my youtube channel and clicking on this video if you're new to the channel i'm francesca i'm a clear sentient tarot reader and a reiki healer if you want any of my services you can check on the link in the description below today's video is going to be a celebrity video celebrity psychic love reading for harry styles and his girlfriend olivia weidel and yeah let's go ahead and get it started so this is a requested reading i'm gonna go ahead and do a part one to see how good it does and if you guys want a part two don't forget to like the video and comment below so typically i start my videos um my celebrity love readings with the purpose of the couple's connection their soul purpose their soul contract then I move towards how they think and feel about each other and what's going to happen in their future moving forward. Okay, so the purpose between Olivia and Harry Styles is actually very significant. So they do have a soul contract together. Part of their soul contract actually has to do with um, helping them both develop self-awareness and spiritual ascension, which is um, major when it comes to... Um, their soul contract so they do have past life together they do have built up um life karma lessons that they need to learn in this lifetime some of those lessons have to do with um deception some of it has to do with heartbreak and shocking separations um part of their lessons um that they need to master in this lifetime is um how to utilize their intelligence their emotional intelligence to navigate through hardships and heartache rather than allow their emotions to um, create hostility and communication so this connection also has a major emphasis on needing to heal um, any sort of codependency or possession or um issues when it comes to perspective i am seeing that their connection um, is very addictive when it comes to the highs and the lows. So they could have a lot of pleasure, but then they could have a lot of pain. And the thing is about this connection is that in, in their past, right, or in their past life, they could have utilized their silence as a way to punish each other. <laughs> um, or they could have utilized their... Um, emotional unavailability of their or their cold shoulder to punish each other um so in this lifetime they're meant to like actually free themselves from these addictive patterns of being indirect right or using mind games as a way to um, hurt one another due to their already being hurt in the first place so this connection all, as well has a lot to do with them um needing to get rid of um the chatter in the mind so get rid of um the the internal noise that goes against them so their inner opposition um they're meant to uh, minimize hostility through breaking through in communication um they're meant to go through major uh, lessons when it comes to their spiritual awakening so there could be several let's just say cycles between harry and olivia where there could be drama due to their fixated mindset and that that could have been causing a lot of restraints in their connection keeping them in circles of confinement and repeating the same lessons so their lesson in this lifetime together is to actually um, be confident enough to trust each other when it comes to being being emotional or holding each other emotionally accountable so they could actually overcome any sort of like control issues or any sort of mind games so they could actually um, you know lead with integrity lead with honesty lead with um, with willpower and overcoming any sort of um, limitations when it comes to uh, lacking love in this connection. So overall, they're meant to come back together, um, have a divine connection, 
be in divine union. I do feel like they are twin flames as well. They could be twin flames. But overall, they are destined to be together. Um, the universe is meant to open their minds for for what's meant to surprise them and really get them into a space where they open beyond their limitations. And ultimately, they're meant to have the courage to um, expand themselves beyond what they have created or what they're used to, especially due to um, all the past life karma that they've had. So ultimately, the lifetime um, the life lessons in this connection is for them to trust each other and to trust what they feel and move beyond the illusion of the mind so they, they could actually lead with love rather than fear and allowing their their source of will and their confidence and individuality and strength to drive them through a, a path of awakening so they can meet each other um, on the other side, but they have to go through several changes and transformation of the mind in order to get to this. And it's happening and it will happen as well. It will continue to play out this way. So let's go ahead and see what's currently happening in their connection. So, as I was saying, uh, they're completing that lesson. Um, so a lot of it had to do with Olivia uh, potentially not sacrificing um, one of her patterns of um, acquisitions or creating turmoil due to some sort of um, jealousy um, extreme way of perceiving things or just like overall um, getting triggered this resulted in Harry feeling defensive but this time around instead of Harry instead of Harry <laughs> instead of Harry um, acting um, and compassionately he actually held his ground um, very um, empathetically and instead of repeating past patterns of acting defensively um, or shunning her away or stonewalling her, like ignoring her, uh, he actually expressed his love. He actually chased her. He actually made sure to prove to her, hey, this is where I stand. This is my love for you. I, I love you. I respect you. And I'm showing you that I'm fulfilled. There's nothing to worry about. So currently, um, spirit, you know, God is trying to hold them together. Um, I am seeing that divine is helping them kind of compromise. They're at a space where they're negotiating to really enter a new beginning in their love life. This time around, really learning from the past. And transcending the previous obstacles of being emotionally unavailable or emotionally triggered or defensive. And this is helping them really understand that it's very vital for them to learn from their past mistakes and nurture each other's emotions so they could actually make this relationship last. And that's exactly what's happening. Yes, there is a part of Harry that does feel... Um, he does feel drained okay he does feel as though um he shouldn't be accused of you know breaking breaking someone's promises if he's not doing that um but olivia also has like reasons for her to assume certain things olivia is at a space where she's just wanting to just protect herself she's very discerning and very um realistic about the relationship with harry and she's aware that it could go you know north or south and she's really hoping for it to go north yet she's also aware of the past and the failures of the past so she's trying not to drag her emotions um down down the drain and allow her anxiety to to trigger um her defensive nature um, but I am seeing her really trying to choose um, her heart rather than her mind, which is helping her be less selfish in the sense where she's not just focused on, you know, me, me, me mentality. She's more focused on the things that she assumes or says it, how it's going to affect Harry. So they're at a space where they're actually um, learning together. Okay, they're taking proactive action to 
communicate in such a way that's going to help them navigate their situation um, towards solutions. They're both visualizing the future together, manifesting, overcoming hardships together. So they're at a space where they're actually learning by the lessons and forgiving each other for any sort of um, repeated mistakes. So there is a lot of um, optimism coming into their love connection at the moment because they're using their self-expression to overcome the anxiety and the illusions of fear of the mind. I'm also seeing a legal issue. I don't know how that resonates. Maybe someone can leave it in the comments below. But overall, um, things are gaining equilibrium and balance in their connection. And things are going to be much smoother moving forward. Rather than um, hot or cold or this runner chaser dynamic. They're entering a new cycle that is going to reap them a lot of positive benefits. So let's go ahead and see what's going to happen with Olivia and Harry moving forward. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and see what's going to transpire between Olivia and Harry moving forward. Okay, so when it comes to in the recent near future, um, I do see them breaking up. I'm just going to go straight for it. I don't see them lasting um, a long time. But it's not going to be in the sense where they're going to fully let go of each other. I see, I see them being um, broken up. They will interlude as in like pause for a while and then come back together. Why will they come back together? Because uh, they're destined to come back together. Uh, they just kind of need to go through certain karma and separations in order for them to realize what they need to purge out of their mind. Um, and what lessons do they need to master in order to come back together? They will break up due to many reasons, but one of the reasons will be to, um, I am seeing potentially Harry, um, kind of like, um, deceiving her or violating the verbal agreement of their relationship. I'm seeing there being still a lot of trust issues. I'm seeing there being a lot of negativity revolving around um, their communication, them repeating certain mistakes, unable to compromise, refusing to compromise, um, not seizing the opportunity when it comes to actually improving their hardships, still acting out of defensiveness, still feeling confined or, or powerless, when it comes to uh, creating resolution, so they will fall back into some sort of um, outdated uh, behavior patterns that take them towards triggering each other, feeling defensive, wounded. I am seeing, though, both divine, um, both Harry and Olivia are divine feminine and divine masculine. They're being influenced by other people. Other people's pettiness and gossip will trigger Olivia more into potentially feeling negative about Harry and then her feeling this way will actually literally manifest for Harry to actually deceive her so because they're such powerful individuals the power of where they focus on their power of focus uh wherever their mind focuses on will literally manifest so I'm seeing people getting into Olivia's head about Harry and then literally Harry messing up and that will kind of be their their fallout. This may potentially be, um, you know, in like six months by the end of the year. Um, but regardless, I do see them being at a space where they will be broken up temporarily. But then um, very quickly, they will miss each other. They will want to be close again, and they will want to come back together. Now, what's meant to happen between them moving forward is for them to work on their work, on their health, uh, change, change in the sense when it comes to their habits and their self-discipline and also their self-analysis. Like they're going to have to analyze themselves a lot more mindfully prior to coming together 
and be devoted towards that because in order for this to ever work after this breakup I'm seeing they're really going to have to be very self-aware of themselves of their tendencies and they're going to have to have this willing willingness to actually um, not fall back into patterns because they're going to like I said have a fallout they're going to break up and one of them may not recuperate as well as the other one will so I'm seeing one of them is going to fall into hard depression which will kind of like mm, potentially isolate themselves for a little bit or make them fall into a space of of helplessness so unfortunately um part of their lessons here in order to gain self-awareness they need to go through self-analysis and the self-analysis sometimes is in the alone and the alone times and negative changes happening you know the improvements need to happen where there is um isolation so that's kind of what's going to happen here but overall this is going to help them overcome outdated thinking outdated thinking old conditioning old patterns of behaviors that need to be completed and i am seeing that this time around when they do get back together they will give less power to other people to make decisions for them and they will um, really utilize their communication to make the effort towards creating a strong compromise and a strong foundation of communication in this connection. Because what's going to bring them together, obviously, is their spirits and their heart. But it's also this magnetic, irresistible pull that they won't be able to endure, you know, without each other. So, so yeah, so they're both going to work on reasoning with themselves and each other in the separation reason as to what needs to get eliminated, uh, what patterns they need to stop and then really come back into a space where they're more um, self-aware, they're more self-disciplined and just really uh, punctual and responsible when it comes to matters of the heart rather than being senseless or unemotional right or defensive so yeah this is the first time i ever read for these individuals it seems pretty cool so i would love to see what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want a part two don't forget to like the video share this video with your friends and family and comment in the comments below if you want a part two as as a lot of you guys know i do the part twos every three to four weeks if you want a personal um, reading, you can go to the link in the description below or you can click um, on any of my services. You can go to my website, ConsciousFilterro.com. I also have Reiki Healings that assist in your love um, romance connection. It promotes communication or just promotes enhancement of love and Kundalini. And I also have other services such as guided breath work, um, sound healing to manifest love and money, which is quite effective and guided meditations. You can also catch me on Instagram and TikTok. Bye, sir friends. Thanks for watching.